of two meetings this year between these two, the Stetson Hatters, coming from DeLand, Florida, to meet the 10th-ranked Florida Gators. Gators have a week outside of SEC play after their series victory. Stars for the Gators. Next to Foster is taken low. Ball four, four straight out of the zone, Alicia. Runner takes off. Erickson right on target. Oh, she's lethal behind home plate. That's her eighth base runner caught. Another payoff pitch coming to Sinaraki. That hitter, back-to-back -back three passes here. Hitter fan. 2-2 on its way, roll to the right side, base hit. Stopping at second base. And as Sinaraki stops at second, first and second now, with play the likes of Washington, Oklahoma State, Tennessee, UCF. Payoff is inside, misses for ball four. Now the bases are loaded. The lone out in this inning, a caught stealing at second. Here's Leith Freeman. Transfer from Presbyterian, hits in three of her last four. Hoist one in the air, this should get a run in. Kissler with the shades on towards the line, makes the catch. Tagging from third is Sinaraki, and she will score. And Stetson takes the lead here in the first inning. Sack fly from Leith Freeman. Batters have had, they just look comfortable at the plate. This curveball by Ava Brown. Freeman just takes it to right field. Puts a good bat on it to get the Hatters their first run of this game. And still runners in scoring. Wacky third inning. Change up, rolled to Wallace on two bent knees, across the diamond for the final out. But Stetson delivers second. One constant, that's Falby at the top. Lays down a drag bunt to third. Napoli across, they just got her. Boy, that's a tough tap. Encore should be bringing the Gators to the Women's College World Series. 2-1, hoisted, shallow right center. It's Danger, drops in for a base hit. Just a floating ball, found no man's land in that sunlight, which I'm sure did not help Sinaraki, the second baseman. This year, the protection behind Skylar Wallace. Wallace takes off first pitch, slides in head first. They got her. Freeman returns serve to Erickson. Threw out a runner in the top of the first. Tim Walton not wasting any time. He mm, it's a really close play. I think that's... Oh. Freeman's just second caught stealing. First time Wallace has been caught again. I oh, one to Otis, drives one to center field, over the head of Epley and up against the wall. Corby Otis into second for the two out double. And he's a secret weapon in a way with her not being picked in the SEC preseason poll. 2-2 two -two coming. Rolled over, finds room in a right field. Otis with two outs, running all the way. The throw is wide. There's another ribby for Johnson Erickson. SEC leading 36. The Gators tie the game at one. And Erickson does, taking this pitch on the outer half and driving it right here in the 3-4 hole for Otis to score the Gators' first RBI. Now the game's tied. Could have been two. Yeah, how but. big is that caught stealing? We continue to say it. Charlotte now a student assistant. 3 1 plate word. Popped up. Hobbs screams ball, ball, ball. She's got it. So Lauren Hobbs gets out of trouble. Good save. Yeah. <laughs> a really good win yesterday. 0 oh, 2 swung through for strike three. Ava Brown goes to that changeup, and there's one out. It's driven in. Oh. Dribbler to Walsh at third, throws it across for the out. How about Reagan Walsh, too? You can, that's the eighth base dealer that has been caught this year from the lefty Gator catcher. Slapped to third, stays fair for Walsh. Now they say foul as Jill Poole, home plate umpire. So instead of the end of the inning, it's an 0-2 count. And a play like that, you just have to play out. It starts fair, but I think has a little bit of tail, catches it on the other side of the line. Also, that foot's got to stay in the box. Hoppers make their adjustments. Ball and two strikes. Strike three. Foster goes down looking. Second strikeout. Hobbs 0-2. 
Change up. Floated to right center. Long run for Epley. Makes the catch. Have some great eyes to lay off and draw that walk for your team. Takes ball four. Four pitch walk to McClellan. Gators have a one out base runner. The issue over the weekend was Caleb Beaver. You don't see that often. More power to her. Congratulations for being such a young coach in this game. Goddard gets hit. She leads the team in being plunked. Goddard. Tenth batter hit this year by Hobbs. It's the highest on the staff. The lefties next. Line sharply to right center field. That'll get to the track and to the wall. Should bring in two. McClellan around third. Goddard right behind her. A two-run double for Katie Kistler. And the Gators a 3-1 lead. Time players come up in big time moments. This pitch low and out, but Kistler takes it to right center field, zigging that leg into the ground to get under it, giving her two RBIs to lead the Gators up three to one over the Hatters. See the energy that she's giving her teammates. I just. In 20 for Kistler. That's such an important area in this lineup, that nine spot. Falvey rolls this over, drawn in second baseman. Sinaraki throws on to first. Effect. Average now at 464. Awaits on the 1-1. Lofts one, shallow left, dropping fast, fair ball. Kistler scores, Wallace running all the way for one scoring double. Back to back. She does what she can with this pitch that's tailing away from her. Got under it just a hair, as you can see. But just enough to get a double out of that. Where McLaren can't get her glove on it or her hand. And Skylar Wallace takes advantage, getting another RBI for the Gators. It's in the final two games of that Alabama series. Just off the inside corner. Gators two on, two out. And this is the last person Lauren Hobbs wants to see. Very well. So just not giving her anything to hit. High fly ball, right field, has some carry. Robinson back to the track, has room. Boy, that was an effortless flick of the wrist, and it almost. Line right to Walsh at third. Nice snag for the first out. Boys in the A Sun won 12 games in the league last year. Popped up, does this stay on the field of play? Erickson has some room for out number two. Box two doesn't help. Bouncing ball over Ava Brown, Cassidy and McClellan welcome to second base. The freshman first ever start. During her recruiting trip, standing inside the pitching circle inside an empty KDC Shoal Presley Stadium with Tim Walton and her family. Well, jam job flare to second, and that's out number one. My senior year, but I, you know, I knew it on campus. Walsh on corks on one, has some carry to right center field to the wall, it's gone! <laughs> Robinson ran out of room, and Reagan Walsh, team best seventh long ball of the year. A solo home run puts the Gators up 5 1. Reagan Walsh is just so strong. She didn't even get all of this. She pulled off of that outside backdoor curveball, but just enough to send it over the right center field fence for her seventh home run of the year, putting the Gators up five to one, securing some more insurance runs. Power to all field. I think that's just changed the game tremendously. Clellan pops this up. Not quite 249 feet. And there's two outs. 2-2 two -two to Bailey Goddard. Yikes. Second time she's been plunked. Second hit by pitch, but hey, on base percentage is going up. Runner takes off. Freeman gets tested again. This time it's a successful stone base. Bailey Gunner Kistler in right. There's not a whole lot that's going to get past him. Four pitch walk to Kistler, turns the lineup over for Kendra Falby looking for her first hit. Oh, 
Falby swings, cracks a line drive to left field. McLaren back goes over her head up against the wall. This will bring in two more. Goddard in, Kessler as well. A two run double for Falby. And it's now 7 1 Florida. That's what's so beautiful about having so many tools. Kendra Falby standing in, going after this pitch that's elevated in the zone over the head of McLellan. What a great play off the wall, but especially mm. when you have so many different tools. One, two coming, change up rolled over past the glove of Niemeyer. That's fielded by Sinaraki and nobody was at first. It's actually Yvette Morgan now at second base. Runner takes off, no throw down. They snap toss to third, and Falby is back. And because you have runners in scoring position, but you also have Erickson right behind her. Five pitch walk to Otis, second free pass issued to her. She's been on base all three trips to the plate tonight. Lasted her a little bit on that pitch to right field. Awaits on the 1-1, one -one. change up outside. It's the end of the inning. We'll have to get some clarification on what exactly happened. We'll step aside. Gators leave him loaded. We have questions. 7-1 lead. So it was Kendra Falby leaving early from third base. Obviously, it's base is loaded. She ain't going anywhere. So that's why Anthony Small making that call kind of left Tim Walton a gas there over at third. You see Anthony Small call timeout saying Kendra Falby left early, so that ends the inning with the Gators having bases loaded. This one's lined to left field, drops down for a base hit. Late Freeman had the sack fly in the first. Thing. Four straight out of the zone. So Stetson trying to get something cooking here in the top of the fourth inning. Box as she steps in. Lays down a bunt, Reagan Walsh charging in, bare hands. Throws over to the bag. Second baseman McClellan's covering. Successful sacrifice, 17th of the year for... Infield in on the 1-1, loop to the right side. That'll bring in to Puma as she scores RBI single. Down and refocus you a little bit. 2-2, two -two, strike three. Ava Brown gets a big strikeout. That's her third of the night. Now two on and two out. Here it comes. Line right to Reagan Walsh. A little hop, skip, and a jump to make the catch. Take away a base hit and a possible RBI for Addison Foster. I'd love to see her make it dance and, and try to get Erickson a chase again. Blew it right past her. So set her up with the off speed. And Erickson goes down on strikes. Very rare sight. So the freshman strikes out one of the best hitters in the country. And there's one out. Bottom of the fourth. Little cue shot from Ava Brown on the first pitch. To Yvette Morgan. Shovels on to first for out number two. She's great, and she's just pitching extremely loose. Launches this down the line and left. McLaren back to the wall. Leaps up. How about another for Reagan Walsh? Multi-homer performance. And another bomb from number 15. Another solo home run, eighth of the year. Reagan Walsh things with her second of the day. This pitch at her letters, and she just takes this over the left field fence. And McLaren's just not able to get her glove on it. All smiles for the Florida Gators. By Mike. McClellan rolls this back up the middle. And in the center for a base hit. So we saw McClellan also one of those versatile pieces that can stand in and hit for power, but also that was more of a, a slap type of bat. <laughs> Got her number on it. I'd call that armor. Oof. She needs it again. <laughs> well, the argument from Caitlin Mullen is that Goddard reached out. Now Jill Poole might be saying just that here. I think LSU is going to do that to a lot of teams this year. Kissler unloads on a ball. Right field, it is gone! Katie Kissler, a three-run blast. Another extra base hit as Kissler rounds the bases and stumps on home plate. Gators up 11 to two.
we are now in run roll territory. Kistler just opens up her hips and drives this pitch full send in a right center field. And she gets all of this one. I love to see it. You can see it in her energy that she was itching for this hit after what you just said, Kyle, a weekend. Gators have seven extra base hits. Falvey pops this up, foul ground, long run for McLaren, makes the grab for the final out of the inning. The Gators sent seven to the plate. Every player of the year one time, but to do it three times is. Gators had this play perfectly. Sinaraki lines out to Otis and shallow left. And two outs to play with now for Stetson. Steps on it. Strike three, outside corner. Rothrock gets her first of this appearance. And popped up. This should do it. Gells down the line. She's got it. Gators win in run rule fashion. An offensive display. 11 runs on 11 hits in Florida's 18th run rule victory of the year. They topple Stetson. Final offense to take charge, and that's exactly what they did for this win. 10th straight win against an in-state foe in Stetson. Gators, three home runs, two from Reagan Walsh.